single day. I uh, apologize first if I miss anybody in the room. It wasn't intentional, but we'll get to you. Uh, to the members of the media, thank you for coming out here. This is probably going to be a little bit longer than a normal press conference because there's a lot of people that we want to speak. And the reason behind this press conference today is when you're trying to crush a radical group of cowardly scumbags, unity and sunshine destroy it. The unity part is what you're going to see in this room right now. The sunshine part is what we're going to play on the screen there so everybody can see how despicable, cowardly, and reprehensible this group is all about. So first I want to acknowledge my law enforcement partners that are in the room. Ormond Beach Chief uh, Jesse Godfrey, and with him is his mayor of Daytona Beach, Bill Partington. Mayor of Daytona Beach, sorry mayor, I didn't want to demote you. Mayor of Ormond Beach, Bill Partington. Uh, Chief Manuel Marino from Port Orange. Chief Jeff Miller from Holly Hill. Chief Jason Umberger from The Land. I know we have uh, Jason from FDLE is also in the room. Uh, from our faith community, Rabbi Lenick, uh, the executive director of the Volusia Flagler Jewish Federation. Reverend Ronald Dorm, Greater Friendship Baptist Church, Black Clergy Alliance in Daytona Beach. Rabbi Stephen Kane, uh, the congregate, uh, yeah, from Ormond Beach. Uh, Brother Manir from the Islamic Center of Daytona Beach. Uh, Yale Hirschfeld uh, from the ADL Southern Division is, is here as well. Reverend Victor Gooden, Daytona Beach Black Clergy Alliance and the NAACP. Trina Myers, co-president elect of Temple Bethel. Our state attorney is here, R.J. Larizza. Uh, from our legislative delegation, we have Representative Tom Leak. We have Representative Randy Fine. We have Representative Chase Tremont. And we have our Senator Tom Wright. So as I said when we got started, uh, this is something that needs to be put out in the air, that these scumbags came to the wrong county. We have unity in this county. We stand beside one another in this county, and we stand beside our Jewish neighbors. We are not going to tolerate this. Let me tell you, this is not about free speech. This is about violence. Two days after the incident at the Speedway, one of these GDL members ambushed and shot two Jewish Orthodox folks outside of their synagogue in L.A. Some of these members have been arrested for trying to solicit that sex with a 14-year-old online, but yet they rail against pedophilia. So having said that, Andrew, can we roll the tape? Oh my God, leave our country, go back to Israel. You know where you bomb Palestinian kids? Where we fund you stupid fucking Jews? Eight billion dollars a year? You look like a horse. You look like a Jewish horse. Look at the horse face on this Jew. Horse face Jew. Horse face Jew. Bad genetics, they sex. You get kicked out of 100 nations over 1,030 fucking times. You think you'd figure it out by now. Uh-oh, Jew. Look at this. Watch this. Holy shit. You just tried to run us over, you filthy Jew. Don't touch his car. This filthy Jew. Don't touch his car. Do it, Jew. 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 Do Hey, you filthy Jew piece of shit. We see you. Hey, you got foreskin in your face. Hey, get him on camera. Get him on camera. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Back up. He's getting neurotic. Look at this Jewish neurotic rabbi trying to run us over. Whoa, you, whoa, camera. License plate. License plate. that Jew trying to run us over, and look what these cops do. Look at you! Look at you! Look at you! Look at you! You're a piece of shit! You kill Palestinians, you fucking scumbag Jew! You're a loser! Wait, this is the one that tried to run us over. Watch out, watch out. Come on, this, this is the one that tried to run us over. Hey, fuck you! You tried to run us over. Move back. Move back. What's up? You're not allowed to be on the grass. Move back. No, you tried to run us over. Move back. I said move back. No, you move back. He's not on the grass, guys. Move back. No, you're on the property. You move back. This is the sidewalk. Let's get you out. Why'd you try to run us over? Why'd you try to run us over? Why'd you try to run us over? What's your name? What's your Jewish badge number? We got your license plate. What are you, the kike police? Heil Hitler, you fucking kikes! Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler, Jew! I found these in my driveway and across the street. Uh, there's also, I think, one of my neighbors this way. There, kid speech. I know we all have the freedom of speech, but throwing that on my property is... Uh, Are you Jewish? Yes. Okay. I didn't open it. I was afraid. Gotcha. 
There's nothing outside my house to indicate. That's yours. Love yours. So. Oh, there's me. Now there's a kid about to look at it. Yeah, it's 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 far from freedom of speech. Well, if that's the thing you want to take, you can get the hell out of here. Uh, well, I mean, I'm serious. I, you know, that's offensive. That's fucking well, I'm not saying child it's not pornography. I'm not saying it's not offensive. Neighborhood. So don't give me the free speech bullshit. Okay, you know, I don't know what you're called. Okay. They're sitting in the back corner, straight back to the right side. Oh. Uh, 30 dudes. They're wearing Nazi paraphernalia, being skulls and bones and swaths because one of them has on a shirt that says Adolf. I don't, I'm not, we can't serve. Alright, leave the uh, establishment back to our What? But what do we do? Okay, they just brought us. Okay, they just brought us. Okay, they just brought us. Okay, they All right. <clears throat> Everyone's having good days. Good to see that. Uh, thank you for the love and support. I uh, appreciate uh, everyone who came out for the weekend. We had a wonderful time. I'm still kind of like, you know, got a hangover from all the anti-Semitism. Best drug in the world. All right. Everyone should get you some. So to be clear, this is a neo-Nazi ideology on display. They wear GoPro cameras. They rent U-Haul trucks. They spent the time traveling up and down ISB during the 500, yelling obscenities from the back of the truck. Clearly, I don't see anything that we, this, people can say this is First Amendment. This is nothing but pure, pure, pure evil. And I want to share this. There's a lot of people in this room, and there's a lot of people around this country of the Jewish faith who are on their hit list. They try to besmirch your character. They try to put death threats out on you and threaten you and your family. Well, I wear that as a badge of honor because I, too, by these clown group who want to shut my big mouth and put a bullet in the back of my head. Go for it. That's my message to you. Go for it. You want to try to get into my computer and plant child porn in there with a group of people that have an IQ of a 12? Go for it. I challenge you. Go for it. You want to put surveillance on me 24 hours? Go for it. And the best of all, you're going to dox me and make me unelectable? Go for it. You came to the wrong county. I stand with my Jewish friends, and I'm honored to be on your hit list. It's an honor to be, to be sought after by a bunch of punk thugs like you. That's my personal message. With that, I'll turn it over to people who are calmer. With that, I will turn it over to people who are calmer, our legislative delegation, uh, led by Senator Wright, Representative Fine, Representative Leak, and Representative Chase Tremont. Did you want to speak? Okay. Sorry, All right, go ahead. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, I am not from Volusia County, but, but my name is Randy Fine, um, and I represent Brevard County, just to the south. And, and I have the distinction um, of being the only member of the Florida legislature who has had someone arrested, prosecuted, and convicted of making a death threat against me. And there's a reason for that. It's because I'm Jewish. I'm the only Jewish member of the Republican Party elected at the state level. So I came up here to stand with my colleagues, all of whom joined me, to say this is unacceptable. There was a German Lutheran preacher in World War II who said that silence in the face of evil is evil itself. And I want to acknowledge what Sheriff Chitwood has done today. I hope that every sheriff, I hope that every elected leader around the state watches that. Because what I am seeing today reminds me of what I studied as a child. If you go back and you study the 1930s, the Nazis did not go from nowhere to in charge overnight. It began with this kind of behavior where people said, nobody thinks this way, not many people feel this way, they will never end up in power. And just a few years later, one in every three Jews in the world were dead. And it would have been them all if it weren't for countries like the United States. Now, we're doing something about this in Florida. We have a bill, HB 269, that will make clear that while you have the right to be an idiot, and you have the right to be a Nazi, and you have the right to walk down the street and say whatever you want, that when your speech turns into conduct, that is where we draw the line. There is no First Amendment right to litter. There is no First Amendment right to graffiti. There is no First Amendment right to assault. There is no First Amendment right to block someone's access to the place where they pray. In Florida, if you do that, you're going to go to jail, and you're going to go to jail for a very long time. Now, I'm proud that all of my colleagues up here are co-sponsoring this bill, because we're going to do something about it. I do this because I have two boys of my own. They're 14 and 11. And 11. When I was a 13-year-old boy, I was hurt many times where I grew up for the crime of being Jewish. But back then, people were ashamed 
They knew it. They hid. They wouldn't admit it. What has changed today, as you can see here, is they don't wear masks. They put it on the internet. They're proud of these beliefs. So I say make them famous. Let them know, and we need to let them all know. But I will tell you, my own children have had to deal with this. It's nothing a 14-year-old boy should have to experience. So we are going to end this in Florida. We're going to stop it. And the good news is we have a good example of having done this. The one place you do not see this issue broadly today in Florida is on our colleges and universities. And the reason for that is in 2019, joined by many of these people and the governor, we passed the, most strong, the strongest anti-anti-Semitism bill in the United States. We have rooted out the problem on universities. This year, we're going to bring that same thing to everywhere else. So I appreciate all of you being here. The fight is coming. But with people like my colleagues, with people like Sheriff Chitwood, we're going to let these folks know you're not welcome here in Florida. Thanks, guys. Representative Fine makes very good points. It saddened me that I was asked to be here today from the standpoint as we shouldn't have to be here today. We should all figure out a way to get along in this world. And for some reason, hate is taking over. And hate doesn't belong in our society. The freedom of speech was coined way back in the 1700s. I don't think that they thought about people projecting things on signs or throwing baggies with rocks and pr propaganda in your driveway. And I don't think that people really re believe that freedom of speech allows you to say the things that are being said against many different groups, whether it's their religion, whether it's the color of their skin, or whether it's their, where they're from. We're all in this together, and I'm so proud to be a resident of Florida because, as uh, Representative Fine said, there is a bill that's coming through. We will all be supporting it, and we're going to make a difference to give our law enforcement, once again, the tools that they need and deserve to make sure that we keep everyone safe, no matter what your race, creed, or color is. It doesn't matter. We're all in this together. I appreciate you all being here today. I hope the word gets out that in Florida we stand together. Thank you very much. Listen, all this talk, the concern is for all of us in this room, all of this talk, somebody is sitting in their garage being indoctrinated who's going to be the next active shooter based on this, based on what they're putting out there. I don't think they got the guts to pull the trigger themselves, but they know there's somebody out there that will do their bidding. And that's why it's important to show the show of unity. And with that, I'd like to bring up our state attorney, R.J. Larissa. Thank you, Sheriff. Well, I want there to be no doubt that I stand with Sheriff Chetwood and that I stand with the folks who reside in this community, the folks who go to school and go to work every day, try to raise their kids and their families to know what's good and what's right and what's important. You know, the, the ugly face of racism, of, of what we see here today, unfortunately, it comes back again and again and again. History teaches us that lesson. You know what's important? is these folks preach hate and violence. They don't just preach it to each other. They try to reach other folks, especially kids, young people, who might be confused or maybe are not getting the teachings or are not getting the attention that they deserve. So my challenge to all of the folks that are watching this broadcast is, talk to your kids, talk to your neighbors. You have to take a stand. This fight is not just with the law enforcement community and the legislature. This fight is in each and every home of each and every family in each and every community in this world. So understand that and take a stand with us as we continue to protect you and your families. Thank you. Thank you, RJ. Thank you, RJ. Uh, Mayor Partington, Chief Godfrey, guys you want to... Uh Come up. Good afternoon. I'm Bill Partington, Mayor of the City of Ormond Beach, and I want to thank the Sheriff for his leadership in, in holding this meeting this afternoon. Uh, it takes a countywide effort where we can come together as a dedicated group of officials, citizens, residents, and affected peoples to, to make a positive difference. As a mayor, it's with a heavy heart that I stand before you today to address the disturbing issues that have affected our community. Recently, we have seen a wave of anti-Semitic propaganda being distributed to our local residents, spreading messages of hate and intolerance. I want to be clear, there is no place for hate here. We stand united against any form of bigotry and discrimination, and the recent incidents are not representative of who we are as a community, and the outsiders who felt the need to spread this awful message should know that we are a diverse and inclusive community that welcomes everyone, regardless of their race, religion, or background. To our Jewish friends that are here this afternoon and who have been directly affected by these incidents, I want to express my deepest sympathies. We stand with you during this difficult time, and we will not allow hate to divide us. It is essential that we come together to support each other and denounce these hateful acts. 
to all of our residents, I want to encourage you to look out for your neighbors and your fellow residents, regardless of their race, their religion, or background. Let us stand together and show that hate has no place in our community. We must work to build bridges of understanding and respect and to celebrate the diversity that makes us all stronger. In times like these, it is easy to feel disheartened, but I want to remind you that we have overcome adversity before and faced many storms together. Let us come together once again with love and compassion in our hearts to stand against hate and to build a brighter future for all of us. Thank you very much. I would like to invite members of our faith community, Brother Manir, uh, is Rabbi Cain, Reverend Durham, Reverend Gooden, uh, any of our leaders of the Jewish community, please come forward. Thank you, Sheriff and Mr. Mayor and Chiefs of Police and our legislators and rabbinical colleagues and clergy from around the community and friends. I'm Rabbi Rob Lenick, the Executive Director of the Jewish Federation of Volusia and Flagler Counties. And let's say first of all, most assuredly, this rash of anti-Semitism and hate is in no way a reflection of this community. Brought here by outsiders, it is an affront to our Jewish community and general community because let us go on record and acknowledge that our community is one built on love, respect, charity, and compassion. And there can be no greater demonstration of that than what you see here today. Unequivocally, the Jewish community will stand up boldly and in solidarity with our many friends and allies against this blight of anti-Semitism and against all forms of hate, racism, and bigotry. Elie Wiesel, the noted Holocaust survivor and author and Nobel laureate, said this, I swore never to be silent whenever and wherever human beings endure suffering and humiliation. We must take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. Therefore today, let us resolve never to be silent, ever, in the face of anti-Semitism or any form of hate we encounter. And our Jewish community is ready to stand in an alliance against hate to defend all at-risk groups in our community if they are ever objects of hate as we are experiencing right now. Dr. King said, the ultimate tragedy is not the oppression and cruelty of the bad people, but the silence over that by the good people. Yes, sir. Today, we are gathered here in unity to resolve never to remain silent. Today, we declare with one voice, there is no place for hate in our community. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm the Reverend Dr. L. Ronald Durham, retired senior pastor of the Greater Friendship Missionary Baptist Church and the president of the Volusia County Democratic Black Caucus. Historically in America, we've seen how a few radical people who are filled with hate attempt to influence others to accept their brand of vile and hateful speech as they attempt to demean and to castigate people who they target. This group calling themselves Goem Defense League have been effectively already run out of the state of California and they have now set their sights and their base of operation here in our state in Florida. Their leader, John Menendo, is hoping that Florida will be more hospitable to him and to his worldview and he may have reason to believe that that is true. A recent report from the ADL that should trouble all of us here in this room has described an upward trend of extremist, anti-Semitic activity here in the Sunshine State. 
driven in part by new white supremacist groups, including White Lives Matter, the Sunshine State Nationalists, Naxoc, Florida, and the Florida Nationalists. But we have gathered here today in this room from different faiths and ethnic backgrounds to declare that we are standing together to repudiate what these people believe and to let them know that just as they were driven out of California, they will be driven out of the state of Florida. What the GDL is attempting to instigate may backfire in their faces. These acts of intimidation, including projecting slurs on buildings, flyers distributed on personal property in our community, and hate signs held in public events, are doing nothing more than strengthening the resolve of the Jewish, black, and all minority communities to stand together in solidarity with equal resolve. Although the GDL and their cohorts may no longer be wearing hoods and robes, their modus operandi is a parallel demonstration that we've seen time and time again in the past. And if history is any indicator of the outcome, if we say and do nothing, we run the risk of letting history repeat itself. If we do not demand the full inclusion of all minorities mm -hmm. in bills like HB 269, we will find ourselves right back here again real soon, addressing yet another verbal and possibly physical attack on the citizens of Volusia County. I want to commend the proactive stance of the Volusia County Sheriff's Department and our Sheriff Mike Chitwood and all of our other law enforcement agencies throughout Volusia County. And just as we did in the late 1960s, when Dr. King and John Lewis and our Jewish brothers and sisters and those from the Islamic community all joined hands together and walked across the Edmund Pettus Bridge to condemn racism and oppression. We will do that again today. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rabbi David Kane. I'm from Congregation B'nai Torah in Ormond Beach, Florida. Uh, just uh, two or three things before I speak my piece. One is that uh, Sheriff Mike from the moment we heard you on the Mark Bernier show, may he rest in peace, we felt like there was somebody around who was looking out for the everyday people. So thank you so much for being here and now being on the county level. I voted against you because I wanted to keep you in <laughs> Daytona Beach, but all right. Well, forgive me, sir. All right, so I'd like to thank the chief of Ormond Beach and his wonderful staff. We have so many faith communities, especially Jewish faith communities in Ormond Beach, Florida, and the chief is our guardian angel. He makes sure that if we have a concern, it's his concern. If we have a worry, it's his worry. And if we feel that we want to stand up, he's standing up right next to us. Now many of you don't know that when clergy of many faiths get together to speak one after another, there's actually a, a pool of who can speak the shortest. So I'm going to go for it now. I want you to know that these people are free to hate. Mm, yes. It's America. They're free to hate. Right? But we are free to care. They're free to hate and we are free to share. They are free to hate and we are free to link our arms together. They are free to hate and we are free to love different parts of each other. We might not always agree with each other on every subject, but we understand that there's one creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. We understand that as religious representatives, we are free to be together in the good works of our various faiths. Uh, behind me right now is uh, Rabbi Azagwe, who is probably the longest serving rabbi in our county. And I was talking to him beforehand, and he said, I said, how did services go on Saturday? Because at Congregation B'nai Torah, we had extra, extra attendees, and it was a very poignant service. Because everyone looked around, because we didn't know what's to be, were these crazy people also violent people? We didn't know what's to be. Should we go to synagogue? Should we pray? Should we gather together? And so... At the end of the service, uh, we looked at each other and said, we are comforted. We are proud of all of us who came. When I asked Rabbi Azakwe what happened at his synagogue, he said, 
more people than ever. So I'm sorry for the hate in the world, but I'm grateful for the people who will stand against it. Thank you. Rabbi Zagli, Chabad of Greater Daytona on Granada, that beautiful synagogue. I'm there for 30 years. I want to thank uh, the sheriff. I hope I'm saying the title correctly. You're good. I'm good? That's the way you got to talk. You get the message out very clear and easy to understand. But I'd like to say something a little different. We hear some very important points here today. I do a radio show for 30 years here in town, exactly where Mark Bernier sits. I'm doing that uh, for 30 years. The Jews on every Sunday morning, 11.50, right after 9 o'clock. And this Sunday, a beautiful story was shared as a result of a lot of what people are here today. In the neighborhoods where the Jewish people live, obviously, I think it was Sunday morning or Saturday morning, they woke up and all these uh, flyers and not nice stuff to wake up in the morning to see on your driveway. Very vulgar, very disrespectful, and it, it, it impacts people especially the kids, the younger generation. And there was this one fellow in one development, not Jewish, that's why I like that story. And he purposely woke up at four or five in the morning and went around to all the Jewish neighbors he knew in the whole development and collected them off, off their driveways so they shouldn't wake up in the morning and feel that sense of whatever that feeling may be. And that is what Ormond Beach is. I live in Ormond, so I say Ormond, that's Daytona, that's Volusia. That is a beautiful story. The unity, the sensitivity, the whole Bible is built on one principle. The whole Bible is built on love thy neighbor as yourself. The rest is a commentary to that commandment, by the way. So when you see a neighbor from not the Jewish faith being sensitive to his Jewish neighbor, I know it's going to be good and very good because the Bible tells us when God created the world, he said, let there be light. That was the first thing God wanted in this world. And in our community, the way we combat, yes, I hear everybody's points that are all valid, but never to forget, you dispel darkness with adding more light, more love, more action, more good things, helping your neighbors, helping the elderly, giving more charity. Automatically, the darkness will disappear. So I encourage all to add more in their world. You listen today, put a little bit more money in the charity. Help the food bank. Help your neighbor. Help the lady cross the street. Take her to the grocery. That's the way we combat darkness, and we should succeed at that. And ultimately, that we should all merit peace and unity as one beautiful community. And I thank this community for everything that they do. God bless you all. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I greet you with the peace greeting. Um, my name is Muhammad Munir Khabbazi. I am the president of the Islamic Center in Daytona Beach. I reside in the land. Uh, I work in Ormond Beach. So I, I am Volusia County. Um, I remember a saying by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, the example of the believers, when one part of them hurt, the rest come together. Of the, it's like a body. And today I'm not going to speak about the hate groups because they are foreign to the body of our faith community. Our faith community is one body. When one part of that body hurts, the rest of the body come in support. So today I thank Sheriff Shetwood. I thank my brothers, Jewish, uh, from all the places. I know there is like five or six synagogues that we have in the area. And I tell you that we are one body. We are an example of a one body that when one hurt, the rest of us will come in support. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Dr. Kepal Singh, and I represent the Sikh Foundation uh, in Volusia County. Um, uh, Sheriff and all the faith leaders and all the other community leaders, I think it's wonderful to organize this uh, meeting. And we are fully behind our Jewish community. In Sikhism, we believe that there's only one creator. You know, one, we call it Ekongar. We all come, all creation comes from there. And then it goes back into the same creator. So the rest of it is a cosmic play. And the diversity is divinely ordained. It is not man-made. We must respect it, celebrate it, and enjoy it while also thriving our own common grounds. So I, believe, I agree with all what my previous speakers have said with them. And plus I want to say that because of our turbans, six are always you know, looked at differently and been subject to hate crimes right from 9-11. And, uh, but I want you to know that Jewish people have been always with us and so the, all the other communities. And the, here the police and the sheriff's department has been helping us. When one of our person got, uh, uh, you know, uh, hurt, 
uh, about 11 years ago uh, on the Dunlawton Bridge. And uh, so thank you. And uh, there's no place for any kind of hate crime anywhere in the world, and especially not in America. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Dr. Victor Gooden, president of the Daytona Beach Black Clergy Alliance. We stand in full support all of our brothers and sisters of faith. There's a passage in Mark chapter 12, verses 29 through 31. It says, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. He said, the second is namely like this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There's no other greater commandment than these. So today I appeal for us to make the words of our Pledge of Allegiance to be actionable and true. That we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to that republic it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hate is going to always be here, but when hate turns to violence, that's when people like our great sheriff step in. We applaud Sheriff Chitwood, the legislators, and all you that are here. Let's just stop the violence. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we take questions, and uh, Representative Fine, I'm sure you're going to get the most questions of anybody if you want to come up. I, I want to close this. You heard Representative Fine quote a German Lutheran pastor uh, during World War II in, in Germany, and I want to close this with, with, with this quote. And what he said was this. When they came for the socialists, I did nothing and said nothing because I wasn't a socialist. When they came for the trade unionist, I did nothing and said nothing for I was not a trade unionist. When they came for the Jews, I said nothing, for I was not of the Jewish faith. And when they came for me, there was nobody left to say anything. So with that, anybody have any questions? Go ahead, Marvin. Oh, they, oh they've got one more speaker. Just looking around in all my years, and I'm 88. I've been here a Jew for a long time, longer than... I'm older, I've been here longer than Claire Metz. <laughs> That's saying something. That's saying something. <laughs> it's, it's longevity. And I look at the, the uniforms around here. And I'm wearing this shirt. This is my uniform. The Miller Brothers. Five of us. All served this country from World War II, 1943, till I got out in 1956. Three were combat veterans. You know, we stood alone, but I'm not alone here. I'm not standing alone. I'm standing with our legislators. Met them before. Can thank you enough for being here. Uh, all the eloquent speakers of the religious faiths. I just say ditto, ditto to that, but all the law enforcement I see around here. I'm not standing alone anymore. My brother Len in the Pacific, he was alone at 17. He heard the remarks because he was the only Jew on the ship. And he was, a, he was a coward, he was just hiding there. My brother Rich and Norm in Korea, both combat veterans from 50, 51, and 52, we all heard the same remarks as I heard stationed in France and my twin brother, uh, there's a border attached to the Navy in the, in the Middle East. When we sat down later, we talked about it. My first time falling out in France when they asked, the Jew boy to fall out for the Passover holiday. Or I was called a kike. These names you've probably heard before, or a Christ killer. But you know what? Over the years, I've never seen a time like this in this county. I've never seen the people standing with me, Sheriff Chitwood, Godfrey, Mayor Partington in Norman Beach, my neighbors there calling me up in support when they got these packages of leaflets despairing the Jews. They were with me. I'm not alone. To get these nefarious groups and bury them with the truth, with the love we have here today, I, I'm so touched. And I, get, I got the support from the veterans group in Daytona, the museum. Quite a group there. They have the picture of the Miller brothers up there because they were proud of the five Jews who served this country. And we love it. Four were Marines. Semper Fi. Always faithful. And I find that always faithful here. And I want to tell you, I am not standing alone here today. 
this is a new beginning in, in this county. And I hope this infects the rest of the Florida and the country to pick up on what we have here today and let it grow. And I want to thank each and every one of you. I just feel great. I'm not alone anymore. My wife said, stay low. You know, they're going to, something may happen to our family. She's always worried about it. But I'm not alone anymore. I'm going to hide behind the sheriff because he's ready to take the There you go. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hello, I'm Dr. Huda al -Junaidi. I'm here to represent uh, the Muslim Women Association of Daytona Beach. I'm not going to cover new points. Everybody had been telling every single point uh, in the most significant way. I'm just here to speak directly to every Jewish sister, mother, daughter who feels scared. I feel the same way now. But I wanted to tell you, we stand by you, not through the big caves of the superheroes. It's through the way I raise my kids, so as is every uh, woman in this community. We tell them... Uh, Respecting each other's faith is the way we raise you. Uh, diversity is what makes our community special. And I would remind every mom who has kids, look at your kids' friends. Are you subconsciously picking them the way you want? Or are you allowing that diversity to be in their groups since they are young? So when they grow up and they are at work or in their colleges, they are not having to desensitize themselves since the example of those looks like they haven't been exposed. So that's how the way how we uh, share our support. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Uh, hi, my name is Yael Hirschfield, and I am here representing ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, and I just wanted to thank Sheriff Cheatwood, uh, Volusia County, all the chiefs that are represented here, the mayors, state representatives, um, for their support, but more importantly, for the community support. Like my sister just said, standing up here and demonstrating unity, declaring today a no place for hate is what will put this darkness away. We at ADL have a center on extremism that investigates and exposes the individuals and the groups that espouse hate, and we work with law enforcement and community to reject them. And I am deeply touched by the representation of all our communities here, the Muslim community, the Sikh community, the Christian community, the Jewish community. Everyone came together under one banner, a day of no hate. We just finished a week where these groups had rallied to demonstrate. They called it a national day of hate. And because we exposed it, because we shone light on it, they did not come out nearly as much as we had anticipated because the community had rallied and prepared and law enforcement was aware. And so we finished today in what is today now a no place for hate day. Volusia is a no place for hate. And I cannot thank you enough, Sherry, for standing up here, for protecting us, for being the shield, and we will stand behind you as the hate comes towards us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was a little premature on my end, I, I apologize for that. You guys have any questions for anybody that you want to direct at? Brett Fine, let me ask you, uh, in terms of the bill, uh, how that will change what we now have the power to do? For example, <coughs> we can prosecute murderers or something like that. But what, what, how uh, really insightful do you hope this bill can get in terms of really stamping out or, or making a difference in terms of the power that you have to Without, you know, sure. And again, I would remind you that there is no, there's no First Amendment right to conduct. There's a First Amendment right to speech. And the things that we're targeting in the bill are not speech. Again, if someone wants to stand across the street from my house and wave a sign on the sidewalk, they have every right to do that. And this bill won't have anything to do with that. But when it veers into conduct, and so the way we're going to approach this is through a hate crime kicker. So if you project, if you graffiti a building, it is a crime now. But if your motivation is hate, it will be a third degree felony. You'll spend five years in prison. If you want to litter, it's a crime right now. But if you litter and your motivation is a hate crime, it will be a third degree felony. You will spend five years in jail. It is a crime right now to hang banners from an interstate. For obvious reasons, we don't want to distract drivers. But if you do that and you have a hate crime, a hate motivation, it will be a third degree felony. You will spend five years in jail. How optimistic are you of moving this bill? I guarantee the bill will pass. And I never do that. Um, well, it's in our session, myself and Reps Leak and, and Tremont and the Senator. We will start our session a week from tomorrow, and so that's when the game gets going, if you will. Um, I anticipate that bill will start to move very quickly. We actually have, I looked this morning, of the members of the Florida House, I believe 42 of the 120 have already co-sponsored the bill. I'm sure more will, including all four of your members from here in Volusia County. Um, and I think you'll, you'll see more. Um, I anticipate you'll start to see that bill move, and I will tell you what I am most looking forward to. I, I can't wait to see if those cowards want to show up and stand in front of me in Tallahassee. That's what I'm looking forward to. Sir, yeah. um, I know this whole situation about hate creates a certain level of urgency. 
How fast do you think that this bill might come into effect in Florida? Well, one of the ideas we came up with with the sheriff today, he asked us, I think the bill right now will go into effect on October 1st. He suggested, why don't you make it upon signature? And I think we'll be looking at amending the bill. So as soon as we can get it passed and as soon as the governor were to sign it, then it would become law immediately. Just to be clear, these people are still out there, right? They, they're still out there. We, we don't have any addresses or intel that they're in Volusia County right now. Uh, their big mode of transportation is U-Haul. We're trying to get in touch with U-Haul Corporation to let them know what their trucks are being used for. So there are some that are Florida residents that have Florida driver's license. There are some that have Arizona resident, uh, driver's license. There are some that have Georgia driver's license. Sheriff, uh, National Day of Peace was supposed to be on Saturday, right? And, uh, can you give us at least an idea of what happened, maybe how big it was in Volusia County, anything at all? Zero. Zero. All my friends back there, my co-leaders my co of different agencies had plenty of resources out there. Captain Dietrich made sure that we had plenty of resources out there. The community was well advised that if you see something suspicious, call us right away. So that's, that's how it that turned out for us. I really appreciate you guys. I know it was a little bit longer than normal, but I think we're not exactly in a, in a normal way of, uh, of doing business. So thank you all. Volusia Strong is what it is.